Days at the Fair By John Wayne Storrs I had never won anything in all my days at the fair but a white stuffed bear. That was because I had always looked younger than my age, and the nice man with a big red hat just couldn't guess my age. So I won Wooly Bear, a most unusual bear. I decided to show my new friend all the great fun at the fair. Well, Mom and Daddy never told me not to take a little bear on the Ferris wheel, no matter if it was only stuffed with cotton candy. And grown-ups never told me that bears, whatever their stuffing happened to be, could get very sick on wheels that went up and down and round and round all at the same time. To my great surprise, Wooly Bear just had to put his soft paws tightly around my neck and whisper, I'm going to be sick. Stop, I need to get off. Now being a first grader didn't prepare me for a stuffed woolly bear that was a bear hugger or a bear talker, let alone a bear that was saying that he was going to be sick. So in a very loud voice, I hollered down to the nice man at the ride's controls, Stop! We need to get off. When Wooly Bear and I got off the slow wheel that went around and around and up and down, he said to me, Thank you, I'll be alright as soon as my brain stops spinning and hopping all at the same time. As I began to pat Wooly Bear on his back, I started counting. Mom had always told me to count to ten if I had a big problem. Sadly Wooly Bear said, I need to get back home, Santa needs me. I was holding a stuffed bear that talked and a bear that was telling me that he knew Santa personally. Most of all, he needed my help to get back home that would be the best show and tell, I ever had. Wooly Bear looked thoughtful and said, I've a plan, you write Santa and tell him that I'm safe and staying with you. Then Santa will come and get me on Christmas Eve. Help me write the letter to Santa, so I can go home. I thought to myself that this was a very smart little bear, and it was a very good plan. And it was something I could do to help Santa. But most of all, I wanted the bear to be happy. When I got home, I told my mom that I had won a lost bear. And I needed to write Santa and tell him that I had found Wooly Bear, and he wanted a ride home on Christmas Eve. Mom gave me one of her nicest mom's hugs and went and got paper, pen, envelope, and a stamp. I happily sat writing at the kitchen table while mom made me chocolate chip cookies. I wrote. Dear Santa. I found Wooly Bear. He is safe with me. He wants to go home. Please come and get him. On Christmas Eve. Love. Johnny. Wooly Bear quietly said to me, You write very well. Now for the envelope, put Santa on the first line. I did. That looks great. OK put box 1 on the second line. I did. Now put Santa Claus, Indiana 46634. I did it all and proudly put the stamp on the envelope and went and gave it to mom to be mailed. Mom looked so proud. I went and gave Wooly Bear a hug and said, I love you. A little while later, my daddy walked into the kitchen and gave mom a nice daddy's kiss and a pat for my head. Then he said, I'm a hungry bear and gave a wink to Wooly Bear. Mom gave daddy another kiss, and then she plopped a big chocolate chip cookie into his hungry mouth. Daddy said, that's good. And when mom told daddy about me winning a most unusual bear, he just smiled at me and said, we are going to have a Christmas to remember. I went and gave my daddy a big hug and said, I love you. Daddy. He picked me up. 
while I was in his arms, my daddy gave a loving pat to Wooly Bear's head, but Wooly Bear didn't say anything.